KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, November the 18th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Dense fog greeting the day across central and northeast Alabama this morning. Jackson, Marshall, DeKalb counties up in northeast Alabama, mainly around waterways and valleys across central Alabama. Visibility is down to a quarter mile in spots, especially, again, near those waterways and valley locations. So if you're going to be driving early this morning through about 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, remember to use uh, extreme caution, lots of uh, low beam headlights if you get in the fog, and uh, keep lots of distance between you and the car in front of you. Temperatures across Alabama at 5 a.m. this morning, 30s uh, quite common, 40 degrees at Birmingham, a little bit of fog showing up there with the pink symbols at Anniston, Muscle Shoals, and Huntsville. Satellite shows high clouds across Alabama associated with the disturbance moving through. Uh, they were not able to suppress the fog early this morning, but uh, they'll move out quickly, leaving lots of sunshine for your Sunday. Today looking a lot like yesterday, indeed a carbon copy. Temperatures in the 60s. Yesterday we were 65 at Birmingham, Anniston, Auburn, and Calera, and 68 at Tuscaloosa. You can just about copy and paste those temperatures into today's forecast. Here's the upper flow across the United States showing a uh, broad, fast, zonal, west-southwesterly flow across Alabama. Uh, bringing those disturbances across like the one uh, bringing the clouds now, the one that brought the clouds yesterday afternoon, including a few beautiful sun halo pictures that we saw across the state uh, on yesterday. Now, the next disturbance, though, uh, slated to bring weather to Alabama is now getting its act together in the Rockies and Central Plains. It will swing across tomorrow, bringing a chance of rain tomorrow night. Now, this is the uh, GFS for tomorrow night. Uh, the spilled paint fans, here we go. Uh, around midnight Monday night, showing a band of showers moving across central Alabama. That looks pretty consistent with what we're seeing. I think you'll see that activity starting around 6 p.m. in the west, moving across the state during the evening hours tomorrow night and moving out pretty quickly for Tuesday. Now, this is Wednesday, uh, beginning uh, the uh, busiest travel day of the year, and uh, luckily, not many problems. High pressure uh, dominating much of the central part of the United States. A few showers moving on to the west coast, maybe a few snow showers uh, in uh, the extreme northeast. Uh, I doubt even that will be a problem, and the Great Lakes. Now, as we head toward Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving looking beautiful. High pressure centered over the northeastern United States, Alabama, uh, enjoying the ridging from that high pressure. Some uh, rain moving into the Rockies and the western United States, but for Alabama, we should be high and dry. The busiest uh, shopping day of the year, going from the busiest travel, the busiest turkey, to the busiest shopping days of the year, shows a wet weather system moving into Alabama. Um, I think it probably arrives during the day, so if you get out early on your uh, shopping uh, expeditions, you should be okay. But uh, Friday afternoon, Friday night, promising to be wet, which could be a problem for area high school playoff football games. Then there's a big football game on Saturday. That's the Iron Bowl. Of course, Alabama and Auburn. It looks like the system will move out Saturday morning. The GFS uh, promising that we'll have it out of here by noon. Game time, of course, at 2.30. Uh, at Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, but uh, the European uh, hints that some of those showers may stay into the tailgating hours. We'll watch that very closely as we go through time. Now, going out to uh, December 1st shows a wet weather system skirting the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the coastline uh, there from Louisiana all the way over to Florida. Looks like Alabama should remain mostly high and dry, except maybe over South Alabama. We'll watch the track of that system to see that it does stay at our south. We go out to the end of the period, the voodoo land here. Down uh, Monday night, December the 3rd showing a high pressure over western Tennessee, western Kentucky, dominating Alabama's weather, and it looks like uh, pretty fair conditions at that time. Temperatures over the next 10 days off the GFS show uh, those 60s uh, today. will still be warm and mild tomorrow, 67 the daytime high tomorrow, Then we'll fall back into the uh, 50s to near 60 degrees uh, for much of the uh, holiday week. 
as we move into a little cooler air mass. You see a little bit of warming there for Saturday for the Iron Bowl, and then temperatures drop after that. That's your weather video for this Sunday, November the 18th. We'll have notes on the blog. Shouldn't have too much to talk about today, but we'll keep an eye on all those important holiday forecasts coming up for you. So until next uh, Sunday when I'll sit in again to do this forecast for you, as I always say, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something interesting to look at.